Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Object Oriented Programming. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about event sources and listeners. First of all, we will discuss about event sources. Event sources in Java are represented by classes. We have defined what a source is. A source is something that generates an event whenever its state gets changed. So these are some of the sources available in Java, button, checkbox, list, choice, etc. We had mentioned one thing before, that is, once an event is generated, that event notification will be sent to only those listeners that are registered with a component. So for registering components with a listener, many classes provides the registration methods. Some of the registration methods are listed here. For registering an action listener with a button, we have to use add action listener method. And for that method, there is one parameter that is the object of action listener interface. Similar, similarly, for registering a listener with a menu list or menu item, we have to use the same method add action listener. So this slide represents some of the registration methods that are required to register listeners with the source so that all those listeners will get notifications whenever an event occurs with the corresponding sources. Now we will see some of the listener interfaces. These are the interfaces which contains the methods that that is executed when an event occurs. So we will see some of the commonly used listener interfaces now. The classes in which an action event will occur must implement the interface named action listener interface and the object of that class must be registered with the component and for registering the object we have add action listener method and whenever such a class object is, raised, is registered with a component and whenever an, an action occurs it is the action performed method inside this interface that, get, that gets executed so the method action performed is actually coming inside the interface action listener so I repeat, those classes in which the action event may occur must implement this interface because when an action event occurs, the corresponding method that has to be executed is action performed. That method is inside the interface action listener. So if the action performed method needs to be executed, we have to implement the interface action listener. So whenever an action event occurs, we need to execute this method. So on, on in all classes in which an action or event can occur, those classes must implement this listener interface. And the class in which we have implemented this listener interface and that is action listener interface, we have to create the object of that class and that object must be registered with a component. Then only whenever an event occurs with respect to that component, this method will get invoked. As we can see, the parameter of action performed method is the object of class action event. So whenever an action event occurs, the object of that class will be created and this method action performed will be invoked automatically and that object will be passed as parameter to this method. And inside this method, we can write the lines of code that we have to perform when that particular event Next listener interface is item listener. So as mentioned in the case of action listener, those classes in which an item event can occur must implement this interface named item listener. And similar to what we have done in action event or action listener interface, we have to create the object of that class which implements item listener. And that object must be registered with a component. For registering an object with the component, we can use add item listener method because whenever an item event occurs, the method that needs to be executed is item state changed. And that method is actually inside the interface item listener. So the listener will be able to handle the event only if the component is registered with the uh, listener. So for registering the, the item listener with the component, we have to first of all create the object and then we have to use the add item listener method. When we use or when we execute these two lines of code, the listener will get registered with the source. And then 
whenever an event occurs the method item state changed will be automatically invoked as we can see the input or the parameter of item state changed method is item event object so when an item event occurs the object of that class will be created and since the listener is registered by using this method the the method named item state changed inside the item listener interface will be invoked automatically and the object of item event will be transferred as the parameter and we have we can write all the lines of code that needs to be performed when such an event occurs inside next listener interface is key listener interface as the name indicates all classes in which key event will take place must implement this interface and the object of that class must be registered with a component so that whenever an event occurs with respect to that component this listener interface will be uh, used and the object that we create must be generated must be registered using the add key listener method so this is the method that we have to use to register a listener with the source so so that whenever an event occurs this listener will get the notification okay so the methods that are available inside this key listener interface are key pressed key released and key typed that means whenever a key is pressed if you want to implement something we can write that lines of code inside this method whenever a key is released if you want to execute something or if you want to perform some actions all those lines of co code can be written inside this method similarly we have key typed method also that means if we have to perform if we want to execute some lines of code whenever a key is typed we can write those lines of code inside this method all these three methods are inside key listener interface and these methods can be used only if we implement this interface key listener moreover these methods will be called automatically when uh, if this listener is registered with the source if the listener is not registered for registering we have to use this method add key listener if this method is not used then uh, if if this method is not used then the listener will not get registered with the component if the listener is not registered with the component then the even notification will not be sent to the listener so all these three steps are common in all the uh, in all key all listener interfaces first of all we have to implement the listener interface then we have to create the object of the class in which the event will occur we have to register the listener with that component so that whenever an event occurs the notifications will be forwarded to the listener now we have mouse listener interface for handling the mouse events so in the classes in which mouse events will be generated must be uh, must implement this this, uh, this listener interface that is mouse listener interface and object of that class must be registered with a component for registering the listener with the component we can use the add mouse listener method and inside this listener we have several methods like mouse clicked mouse ended mouse exited mouse pressed mouse released so since we have registered and we are implemented this interface whenever any of these events occurs as whenever a mouse is clicked if we want to perform some lines of code those lines of code can be written inside that method because if we write like that whenever a mouse is clicked that will automatically call the method mouse clicked we don't have to call mouse clicked method separately similarly whenever a, whenever a mouse key is pressed if you want to execute some lines of code those lines of code can be written inside the mouse press the method so whenever and whenever we press the mouse button that method will be invoked automatically we don't have to call the method separately next listener interface is mouse motion listener interface it is used for receiving mouse motion events like whether mouse is dragged or mouse is moved etc and this listener interface consists of two methods they are mouse dragged and mouse e mouse moved so once we have once this uh, once our component is registered with this mouse motion listener by using the corresponding registration method whenever our component inside that component this mouse is dragged or mouse is 
pressed or mouse is moved this corresponding method will be called automatically then we can write the lines of code inside these methods which we have to execute whenever a mouse is dragged or whenever a mouse is moved we shall conclude now in this video lecture we discussed about what are the different sources of events in java how the events are generated and how we have to register the listeners with the source so that the listeners will get the notification of the events then what are the different listener interfaces available in java so that we can handle different events and the methods in different listener interfaces that is all in this video lecture thank you so much